Hi, Brenda Nicholas, Soul Art and Nature. Welcome. I hope, you know, during all of this, you're doing okay. And I don't know, a lot of us are staying in. So I thought I would share with you one of my things. Hi, Lori. Um, that I do. Then I have um, a little bit of stress in my life. I'm not going to lie. This has been a little bit um, stressful. And so I thought I would share three ways that you can do some fun painting and just to kind of loosen up a little bit and to just to have fun, have fun with it. So tonight I'm gonna to be using watercolor paper. I'm gonna be showing you how to do some really fun little butterflies and some flowers and even a heart. Simple things that you can do at home. Um, this is a watercolor uh, mixed media. This is actually a mixed media um, uh, book that I got. And they come in all different sizes. You can use watercolor paper. This is what I got at the kids department. So watercolor, um, what just a watercolor pad. You can use um, typing paper or computer paper. Hi guys, thanks for joining. And so um, tonight I'm just gonna show you a few little tricks of a trade. And then I'm gonna show you, during the week I'm gonna come back on at different times and just show different ways that we can paint. And tonight, I want to show you. So does everybody have your paints? And if you're joining me live tonight, and um, just, you know, say hi. Love to know where you're from. It's amazing technology that we have nowadays that we can talk to people from all over the world. So it's really fun. I can kind of see y'all a little bit. And um, so thanks for the hearts. And so what I want to do tonight, we're just going to play. And... I'm gonna show you um, this one technique that it makes really sweet little flowers. I'm gonna put this up here. And I kind of want y'all to think about um, a blank canvas on all of this that's going on. And so we'll talk about that as we go along too. Um, my Buddha painting over here with the gold underneath. So if you have your paints, and um, what I'm using, like I said, is just some um, uh, art journal. It's a mixed media. It's a little bit thicker paper than we used to have in our sketch pads. This is my watercolors and very fun. This is a travel one and then um, I have other ones that I've gotten at Michael's, at Walmart. You know, just, you know, grab your kids watercolors. These are great. Um, as you can tell, pretty much all the glitter is gone out of here. So who likes glitter? Say yes. <laughs> I'm not the only one, right? So that's a really fun thing to do too. So well, let's get started. And we're gonna do, this one is called, I can't, I have to name everything, right? Something what I'm doing with, um, with kids. So this is the three dot and swish flower. And I'm just gonna use a really, a kind of a darker color right here. And you're gonna make um, a couple of dots. You're gonna do three dots like this. And then you're going to use a little bit of color and you're going to kind of swish. And what you want to do is kind of leave some room in between your dots. And I'm going to bring this a little bit closer so you can see. Sorry, my back is down there. There you go. Um, so you're going to kind of swish. See, that's where the dot and the swish, the whoosh. I think that's an art word, right? Thanks guys for joining. I'm kind of painting, so I'll, I'll try and, if you have any questions about anything, please ask, because I'm a teacher at heart. I love doing my art classes. Uh, the Jupiter Community Center where I teach right now is closed for right now, and also my Nature Center classes. So I thought it would be fun to come online and, and see you guys. So this is my first one. So this is just a little um, swish. So any favorite colors that you want me to paint? I will gladly paint one for you. So this one is the first one. I think I'm gonna do with pink right now. Um, hey guys, I'm gonna wave to everybody so I can wave, 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 wave. <laughs> this is fun, thanks for joining. Make sure you post below where you're from um, in case I don't know where you're from. So the first thing we're doing is making three dots. This is called the dot and swish, or dot and whoosh, depending on my kiddos. And you can see my dogs are in the background, so they do not like being quarantined. 
All right, so we've got, and then you're just gonna kind of make almost kind of like a V shape or a triangle if you're doing with the kids. It's a great way to teach them shapes. And really painting is um, really about shapes and that's how I teach people on how they are, um, whether they're painting flowers or um, a horse or a cat. Look at the shape, the shape of the face, the shape of the body. Hi. And so, um, so look at the shape. So we're just making a, a nice little triangle. So anybody want to tell me another color to do? Anybody's favorites? Um, let's see, you ever thought about putting somebody else to help you? I am, actually. I'm working on that right now, Amanda, so thank you for that. Um, so we are going to do, let's do turquoise. So I'm going to do a turquoise. I do have um, a, a class online, but I thought tonight would be just fun just to do, you know, just to kind of come on and do a fun little class. I do have, on my website, I do have um, a class that I recorded. If so if, you, if you're interested in that, you know, feel free to um, check that out. But um, it is fun to do these online for people. So we've got three colors, yay, thank you. And so is anybody painting with me? Please say yay and yes, <laughs> uh, the blue. So I got two blues on here. Well, kind of purpley blue, I guess. That's the blue. So then for your center, what's really fun is you can get a little bit of black or a darker color. Sometimes I use just a little bit of mixture of dark and brown in a black. Thanks for all the hearts, you guys. Y'all are so sweet. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little dot in the middle and then you're just gonna make like a star pattern. Um, some, it's fun some, if it's wet a little bit, sometimes the paint will travel in. So it makes a little um, a traveling paint. I'll put a little bit here, you can kind of see how it might drip a little bit. So this is just one fun way to use the paint. And I'm going to put it down just for a second since I got that kind of wet there. It's gonna drip a little bit. I'll kind of go like that. So then, and I kind of like that. See how it's kind of spreading right here? I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it up a little bit. But see how it's kind of spreading up? Isn't that pretty? Fun, right? So I did this with a group of kids, and um, I don't know what I did with those pictures. Let me put them in here. I'll show you in a little bit. You can always make cards with them, which is really fun. That's what I try and show, especially when I'm doing my kids' classes, to really show them how they can make a card for a birthday card or Mother's Day card, Father's Day card, whatever. Get well card, hello card. <laughs> what other cards can we make, right? So then the next thing you're going to do is bring in some of the green because we need a stem, right? We need a stem. So I try and you can use another brush. This is a liner brush, so it's a little bit thinner. And I know I always say go big on my brushes, if you know me and you've taken any of my classes, <laughs> but this one's a little teeny tiny one, so y'all will be happy. Um, so we're gonna put a little bit of paint in here. Now on my watercolors, I'm putting a lot of water. And so, because you want it to be kind of inky and that way it'll flow better. So I'm gonna kind of make, I think I'm gonna make this one kind of come out like this. And Maybe make this one come like this. Isn't that fun? You can make them kind of, doesn't have to be up, straight up and down, right? And let's do this one like that. What do you think? Yes, we like it. All right, so the next thing we need, I'm gonna go to a bigger brush. You could stay with the little one, but I'm gonna go to a bigger one. This is my other little one. And then, um, hey guys, how you have fun? Yay! And so, let's see wave to everybody so the next thing I'm gonna do is just do some a leaf and a leaf could be just a straight line and then fill it out on the edge and kind of go like this and kind of leave a little bit of white on there so that way it kind of gives a little bit more depth so let me bring this a little bit closer so I'm not really techy with all of this yet so um, please bear with me so this one just kind of making a little leaf like that and bring it down and this one needs a leaf too. Let's get a little bit more paint and bring it in like that. So what do you think? Do you like that? Pretty simple, right? How many people say yes if you can 
um, paint a flower. And what's your favorite color flower? So put, put that down there. And if you're watching the replay, please um, put replay too, so that way I know. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I always, I'm a teacher at heart, like I said, so I love to be able to help you out. Um, video is cutting out. Okay, great. All right, I hope to see you later. So sometimes it's the, um, it's not really the, uh, it could be a connection. So the next thing we're gonna do is those cute little butterflies. So we're gonna, that's pretty much dry. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do some butterflies. If you love butterflies, we love butterflies, don't we? So I think I'm gonna use a little bit bigger brush for them. So I've got this one right here and I'm going to pick another color. How about a red butterfly? We love red. We love our monarchs here. How many people have a butterfly gardens? Push butterfly garden down there, let me know. We love our monarchs. Um, I just went over to a friend's house and her neighbor has a yard full, or a garden full of the, um, uh, what's what's the monarch's um, food? The, um, my mind just went blank. The, um, the flower that they like. She had a full of them. And so she had lots of caterpillars, and then she had a lot of the chrysalis already that were getting ready to, um, to hatch, which was really fun to see. So to do the butterfly, there's a couple different ways. I'm just gonna do this one really loose, and the dogs are whining, and I'm sorry, they went out. They must have seen a squirrel. I have a big mango tree outside this window, and I also have another tree that has fruit, and I'm, I think it's a kumquat, and the dogs, the squirrels really love them, and the dogs don't like that, so they're really not happy with that. So the, um, to do a butterfly, we're just going to kind of do almost the same as we did the flower for the wings. You can kind of make them a little bit different. You can always go on Pinterest. Who doesn't love Pinterest for I butterfly ideas? And I just kind of wanted these to be a little bit more um, freestyle and kind of like this so you can kind of make it like that pretty and then let's do a blue one somebody liked blue earlier so we'll do another we'll do a blue butterfly and this one would be a little bit bigger a bigger wing and another bigger wing over here and this is really fun to do with the kids it's very simple um, very easy to do you can kind of add some of that. So we have two butterflies going. And let's do another. So, oh, let me show you how to do one from the side. So these are like flying away. And then we could do one from the side. Um, how about an orange one for happy? Orange always makes me happy. It's a very happy color. It's a solar plexus if you do the chakra colors. Um, let's put him down here. So he's gonna go a swish, just because I, I need something to go by, right? Can you see that? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna bring him up here so y'all can see a little bit better. So we're gonna do a little line right here and then kind of make a little on the side because it's gonna be the side but of the butterfly wing, a little bit right here. And then you can do a, another one over here, kind of like what we did with the flowers. You want to keep a little bit of a distance. And it's okay if you go off the paper. It kind of makes it look nicer, too. And then that's the side of the wing. Okay. And then you're going to bring in. Now, this part is a little bit different because you can, um, with watercolor, uh, you can use a marker. And you can use a Sharpie. And so you can... Um, hi y'all, thank you, thanks for the hearts guys. And so a Sharpie is really fun to use or just a pen, if you have just a pen, a marker, whatever. So you're gonna come in and you have to do the body, right? So we'll do his head first. I always like to kind of put the head where I kind of know where he's gonna go and then bring in that body. And like I said, you can use watercolor to do this or you can use um, the paint it's up to you. And then what's fun is you can come in with a pen, with a marker or the pen and do um, kind of an outline and have some fun with it to kind of give it some, um, a doodle, if we will. Doodling is in right now. So Zentangle, all of those. 
So you can kind of come in and, and kind of, you know, make, make a fun one. You can, um, let's see, for this one, you know, we could do little dots. Um, like that. Or anything, really. Whatever your little heart desires. So what do you think? So this one I want to finish up because this one is, I love the side view. And he was on a color. And this one you can just kind of add some lines like this. And then his little antennas. So how many people are seeing butterflies where you are? I know a lot of people are from up north. And I know it's snowing up there. For a few people from Canada, my friends up there. So I know it's been um, snowing. So hopefully y'all will be getting a few more. You know, it'll be nicer weather. I'm in um, Florida. I'm down in Jupiter, Florida. So it's beautiful weather down here. Um, you know, we've been going outside for walks. We've been... Um, gardening a little bit you know a little bit it's been kind of hot so so that's the butterfly and so i have one more for you to do are y'all ready for one more hi guys i'm gonna wave to everybody that's here i'm so excited to have y'all with me has everybody got your wine down for wednesday wine or water <clears throat> i've been drinking a lot of water that's really good for you right and all this talking. So we're not going to stay on for much longer, but I just wanted to show you a few things that, you know, creativity right now, especially with everything that's going on, it really helps to relieve stress. And there's so many scientific things out there that you can research on, but when you start painting, you just, you really don't think about it anything. I don't think about anything else anymore. I just kind of get lost in it. And that's really hard when I teach sometimes, um, because when I do start painting and I start really getting sucked into the painting of whatever I'm doing, I forget everything else and I forget my students sometimes. So what I do it with, when I do classes, uh, I'll show techniques like I did here, and then I will walk around and help people with whatever, you know, they're doing. Like, I'll have a picture that we're going to paint together, and then I can walk around and help them, because um, I do tend to disappear. So, with this paper, you can just put a little bit of water up here, and we're just going to kind of play with it. And kids, you know, this is great for kids. Um, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. It's not really the, um, it's not really the end product. It's the process. And so you put your favorite colors on here. Whatever colors that you like, whatever colors that you want. And you can kind of see it's really fun for the kids to see how the colors blend. This would be a great um, for color theory you know your um i've got some pink and some blue up here and it's making so red and blue make purple i've got some blue on here so what happens if we add some yellow and kids you know, they love this they really will have fun with it so you don't really and i tell my kids too you don't have to have you know twenty thousand colors you only need the basics and so you can go from there and so this is one of the ones that I'm doing. So I'm just kind of playing with the colors, letting them bleed wherever they want to go, not really paying attention to tell you the truth. <laughs> and if it drips, that's kind of cool. It'll have a different pattern there. And once this dries, I'll show you, you can go back and a way to make, um, if you don't have a lot of patience like me, you can use a blow dryer to blow this dry and it'll dry really quick. So one of the things I do with, um, when I do pages like this, it's just really for fun, and the kids, I will have them trade papers. So what? how do you think that would work, right? So what they'll do is they'll, they'll do a, a little bit like this, and then we'll pass it to the next person and see, and then they get to paint on it. And I usually time them, you know, just a few minutes, really. Everybody gets a little bit, and then by the time it comes back to you, it, it, you you're, it's going to be beautiful right? Everybody's going to put their little bit uh, in there. And it's just amazing to watch kids let go of things. And I've also done it with adults. And that's really, <laughs> that's really hard. They do not like to switch and they get attached. 
And I think a lot of the um, people are doing mandalas, um, man, uh, nature mandalas. We did a ma nature mandala at one of my kids' camps. I always usually do that because I can get them outside. And Annie, stop. And so that helps also with detachment, um, you know, with that. So I'm just kind of letting this drip. So I see a few comments. Orange is good. Yes, orange is great. I love that. Um, so what kind of things do y'all like to paint? If you're a painter, you know, um, tell me. If you're an artist, let me know. Uh, it's always fun to just play with color, to play with um, different things. One thing that you could do with this is, like I said, you can let it dry really well. You can get markers and do markers. You can do um, designs in here. You can, or just let it be there, you know. I've done uh, rubber stamps with sayings and I torn this out and made bookmarks and just done lines because look how beautiful that would be as a bookmark just right there you know and you could take that off you can let the kids use their fingers Annie there must be a squirrel out there I know honey so you can use that and just let it dry and it can, you can make a bookmark with it. You just tear it out, let the kids do that. Put a happy, um, with Girl Scouts, when we were in Texas, my daughter would do, we did Girl Scouts, and we would put um, what are called happies on people's, on the um, people's trays at the, um, at the uh, nursing stations and different things like that. Um, we would take them in, and so we would do a lot of these for that, which is really cool. And so if you have neighbors right now, the kids could do something like that. Uh, punch a hole in it and uh, add a ribbon and that would be a great little bookmark for somebody to have that you know that's you know that's beautiful and how it's working so I hope this inspired you a little bit I will show you again this one was just for fun um, you can write you know a positive saying um, right now with everything that's going on let's say how about um, all is working out for my highest good. So this could also be a uh, writing thing for the kids too. So, and you have your own positive affirmation in your book that you can keep. So there's lots of different things, ways that you can do this. I will be coming back on. I'm going to be showing some more artsy things that we can do while we're um, homebound. So there are lots of different things that you probably have already in, in your house. So let me show you. We did the flowers. Does anybody remember the name for this one? Dot and swoosh. <laughs> so really fun, easy, easy colors. Um, the butterflies. Similar technique, but you know, you could add um, Zentangle, you could Zentangle these, you could add a lot more detail as we go. I just wanted to show you a little bit of something and just a fun colored background. And I want to end with all is working out for me at my highest good. And I really believe that and I hope you do too. I hope this gives you some inspiration to be creative and get those crayons out or watercolors, get those kids watercolors out and grab your paper and create something and just don't worry about what it looks like. Just go with the process and just have fun with it. And I'll be back on um, tomorrow and I'll show you some more things that we can do. Think about your life as a blank canvas. And what are the some things that you can add to this? We're gonna be working with the new moon tomorrow. Um, we're still in that new moon energy, that new moon Aries energy. So I wanted to really work on that. And I think I'll work on that tomorrow with y'all. So let me know. And I will be back on tomorrow. So this is our watercolors for stress relief. Om, right? Just relax. Take a breath. You know, enjoy where you are. And I really pray for you and I hope that you're doing well and thank you for joining me if this is on the replay please if you have any questions um, put re hashtag replay any questions I will be glad to answer 
and I, if you do something too, you can now add to the live. I didn't realize that, but you can add your pictures to this broadcast. So I hope to see them. All right. So we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I probably be around the same time. So we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night and I'll see you later. Have a, I'll see you on the trail.